everyone, my name is Brian and I just turned 25 and here are 25 life lessons that I have uh, come up with as I turn 25, take them for what you will. Number one, effort can be beat by talent, but talent plus effort is unbeatable. Talent often leads to effort, but effort is also talent. A lot of words just to say that you should probably work hard. Number two, by the time you hear about certain in, uh, investing advice, it's probably too late. So if someone tells you to invest something, they have the hottest, biggest news. If you see something on Reddit, probably don't invest because it's probably too late. If you want to survive, uh, you need to make content. That's number three. I've made a video on this before. It's the age of content. If you're only consuming content, probably just start making it as annoying and burdensome as it may be. And you might think, I'm not going to be good speaking into a camera. It's the age of content. You are going to need to make content at some point. When your mom tells you to sit up straight, or straighten your back, or stop walking like that, listen, because otherwise you're gonna be like me, and before you turn 21, gonna have a bad back. A man is no thing without their back. Uh, Jokes aside, don't lead to bad posture. Start when you're young, make sure that you straighten up and not have a disc like yours truly. Brush your teeth, wash your face, wash your hair. Bare minimums, but earlier you do it, better habits, cleaner you look. Little things pile up, and it matters, especially as you become a professional, especially post-COVID, um, showing up and mildly giving a beep is really, uh, sounds like a bare minimum, but really not a lot of people do it. Those two things, showing up, be on time, and and kind of caring uh, will pre- get you pretty far in life, uh, especially if you're not trying to be a number one star or a rock star at your company. Those two things will get you at least 75% of the way there. Learn more languages. Uh, learning more than one, I think, is almost becoming essential in this day and age. The number of people that I've encountered that know less than two has been decreasing rapidly. But I think knowing English is relatively enough. It's just cool and more fun, and you can access more cultures and people if you have more than one. Date as much as you can. One of my biggest regrets in life is not having dated when I was younger and I had uh, more access to people around me constantly during school. You won't know what you don't like unless you figure out what you don't like. And the best way to do that is to date and figure out, do I like X type of person or Y type of person? Call slash text as soon as you think of someone. Um, they're probably waiting for the same call and text if you're thinking about them, even if they're not. Making that initiative, especially in this day and age, people will welcome it. No one that you're actively thinking about unless you hate them or for whatever reason, even then, they'll appreciate it. Make the initiative. Nothing goes according to plan. Uh, as we've seen in the past three years, uh, especially in the past three years, nothing goes according to plan. So be the best version of yourself so that you can be prepared for anything and everything so that when that comes your way, regardless of what it is, you're able to adapt to it and give it your best. Childhood friends uh, do matter a lot. And as you get older, it's harder and harder to find new friends. So as soon as you meet someone uh, when you're younger and you hit it off, make sure you sustain that friendship. Of course, distance and things like that make it harder, but don't bet on this future. Of, oh, you'll always be able to make friends. To be honest, that's not true. Number 12, uh, stop drinking alcohol if you're able to do so. Uh, perhaps it's kind of part of your job or the only thing you can do for fun, but there's plenty of things that you could do without alcohol for fun. Uh, even typically alcohol-induced activities you could do for fun without alcohol. Drinking, I think, is ultimately not a great thing, especially in access. I would highly recommend against it and someone who's been, uh, who's tried uh, to be off of it. Being off of it is great. It's good for your liver, good for your wallet. Do as much as you can with your looks, your aesthetics, before you start something that the looks and aesthetics matter for. Other biggest regret of my life is not having dyed my hair color more different colors, having tried different fashion styles. Now I have to act a certain age. I'm 25. I can't dress like I did when I was 14. Do it while you can. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, everyone's a stranger beyond your family. Family matters most. Be good to your parents while they're around. Uh, as you become older and older, there's probably less chances to do so, especially if you're living in the city and they're living in the suburbs, wherever they may be. Be good to them while they are around. Read books during the times that you have to watch TikTok and Reels. Books are far better for your thinking capacity, far more informational. Yes, you can learn things from video. There's good content out there, but I think reading is ultimately the best source of content consumption. Delete Snapchat. And overall, just delete social media if you can, become rich enough or self-sustainable enough or confident enough to live without social media. Money should never be the end goal, but money definitely matters. People tell you that money can't buy happiness. They don't really know what they're talking about. Money can't find you fulfillment forever, and money can't be sustained happiness, but money is essential, and money can buy happiness to a certain amount. Uh, I bought my car, my Spider Fiat Abarth or whatever it's called. Every time I see it, I'm happy. Uh, that came from money. So money's important. Don't fade money. Work hard to get money. You have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations, number 18, to 
find growth. In comfort, there is no growth. In discomfort, there is growth. Actively put yourself in uncomfortable situations, especially if you feel like you're stuck somewhere in life and you feel too comfortable. Number 19, takes lots of pictures. I know that's kind of annoying when your mom or dad, you go on trips, they're like, oh, go for a picture. You will look at this at some point, especially as you get older and older and your memory fades and there's things that you want to remember. Nothing better than pictures or videos. Keep track of them. You will look at some of them at some point and it'll bring you a great aurora of memories, a great aroma of of thoughts and reflections that you wouldn't have otherwise, especially in this day and age of easy access to pictures, make sure you take them. Number 20, if something makes you anxious, if someone makes you anxious for absolutely no reason and there's no growth with it, that anxiousness doesn't lead you to be more motivated or become a better person, cut it off. Life is too short. Uh, screw that activity, screw that job. That person, there's plenty of other people in their world. Remove it. Anxiety-induced life won't go away unless you actually cut it off, especially if it's not making you a better person person. Number 21, reflect constantly, uh, assess the situation, and make sure you're improving. Something that's very important to do, oftentimes we get lost in life and just go through the emotions and you blink and two years have gone by and you've accomplished nothing. It's important to constantly reflect and assess the situation and recognize, what am I doing wrong? What can I change to become better? It's important to do this actively and almost routinely so that you don't get lost in the sauce. Live in New York City before you die. Uh, It doesn't have to be New York City specifically, but live in a city before you die. It's important to experience it as a young person. Um, It also makes you more grateful for the life that you've had not in the city and with your family, with familiar backgrounds. Especially if you're someone that complains about being in the suburbs, live in the city, understand it. And perhaps you might fall in love with it, but most of the times you'll probably come to appreciate where you're from. Ask her out, boys. You know what I'm talking about? Um, and for ladies, ask him out. You know who I'm talking about, the person that instantly came to your mind when I said, ask her out, ask him out, go and do it. I regret not having done so multiple times. Age is not just a number. Uh, it's important. Act your age. I'm 25. I should act 25. I think a lot of expectations and standards and uh, norms for age-based responsibilities and roles have been broken down. In some ways, it's good. It neutrifies the playing field. But at the same time, act your age. Uh, it's important to escalate and prove and enhance the stage that you're part of. If you're 25, you should probably act 25. And lastly, trust in the Lord. Uh, in the end, it's not you. It's him that's doing the work. And constantly pray, read the Bible, and walk in faith alone. As I turn 25, um, and I guess by the time this video is out, I'm already 25, uh, lots of thoughts. And I think it's really hitting me that I am truly an adult now. It's not an excuse where I'm just out of college. Three, four years out of college, I am a truly an adult. There's a long ways to go. I still feel like I'm identifying with uh, being young, but the reality is, is I am truly an adult. And I think these life lessons aside, there's a lot of things that I need to think about where I'm taking my life, um, aligning my goals with my talents, with my aspirations. Um, It's been a lot of overthinking, but but actively uh, efficient thinking recently. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to take my life, my channel, um, just overall who Brian Jen is to be. But I think 25 is a good time to assess that, reflect, and make some bold moves because time is passing. And if I don't do these things now, I will probably regret it later. Um, as you guys turn older and older, um, as you guys have been with me for, for three years, um, I challenge you to think about your life and perhaps make bold moves as you get older um, and, and before you get too old to really chase what you want. Um, I don't want to end on a corny note. Long story short, 25. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm also trying to be more loose, but clearly this video tells me that's not the case. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I look forward to hearing whether or not you disagree with my 25 points um, and hope to uh, hear about your wonderful birthday reflections as time passes. As always, I thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you guys next time. Let's go.